What's up, guys? It's an edition of COVID-19 and reggae music like no other because I'm driving all the way from Kingston to Rio Bueno. I've never been there, but I've always heard about it. I heard that dancehall star Charlie Black is from Rio Bueno and his debut album drops this November 12th, which is Friday. So you know me, the Africa talk to him about it. Presidential Rolls is a sponsor for this video and I'm super excited as you can imagine. So keep it locked to Ramona Samuels TV. Lots to come. Charlie Black, it's all about you and real bueno. <laughs> It's another amazing edition of COVID-19 and reggae music. Ladies and gentlemen, Ramona Samuel TV, and I finally made it to Rio Bueno. You know that one of my favorite artists, he's dropping his album this Friday, November 12th, titled Rio Bueno. You know, it's probably that that I'm talking about, responsible for hits like Galia Party, Animal, and a slew of others. He has made some international appearances. And been on stages that some dance hall artists haven't quite done yet. Early Black, welcome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having me in the summer. How are you? I'm good. Yeah. I feel really good to be in your hometown, yeah. Rio Buena. Yeah. I need to talk the rundown on Rio Buena and what it was like, you know, growing up here before stardom and everything. Well, it's a place where yes, it used to be like the main road mm -hmm. before. Um, the highway come and cut out we from all the attention because all of the buses are run from Kingston to Manitoba Bay or to Palmont always come stop here so it's always okay. been good business you know what I mean because nice. um, even the man with me get my name Charlie from he used to have a shop shop out there so he used to have a shop named so, mm -hmm. Chief Charlie you see me I'm broke up used to there so in sell crab and snake and you know, hockey, you know, people, mm -hmm. you, people have people. them stars mm -hmm. along the road, you know, because people normally stop. But Jamaicans, tourists, everybody. Mm -hmm. see me? So, yes, I used to be the main road for Pifiaga town. Or, you know, so it's, a, a it's a popular area. Yeah. This is the area. Yeah, and, and also the party central, actually. So, okay. Yeah. And you were a constant at a lot of these parties, right? You know, coming up in entertainment and wanting. Yes, and at the end of the day, my my yard is right up the center. So me could have listen, or if, even me not get to come now with me, even when me underage, me could have still hear what I go on. Mm -hmm. So by the time me reach like about 13, 14, so mm -hmm. I already know what I go on from the street and I know how to. And myself because of them days, it was the days when I kind of did take music serious and decided to be one of the um, pursue my career as an artist, okay. uh, as a selector, you know what I mean? Right. But, but me did definitely, I believe the community and my auntie was with her. Okay. So she said, if I left the yard, yeah, don't come, come back. back. So I you know, left out of the community to so have a virgin place, I don't come Let's see. Mm -hmm. Stay up on porch cars. Made it big at the time. For our selectors of people. I booked my Pam Raya Bull to the other community, which is close by, which is Duncan. So, what name you went by as a selector? Tony Mental. Yes. First. Tony yeah. That's right. Tony Mental was, okay. my, was my first big name. Yes, I remember. I remember. But on, on the way going to Montego Bay, um, a night to change it, I was playing a sound system called Supreme Force. Uh -huh. Matter and they just leave um, King of Days and uh, Guam and mash up Jamaica and, uh, and the first solo selector for Guam. So, so he had it mentally ill to his name. So me oh. never liked the comparison. Oh, yeah. I made the name Tony mentally. He named Tony mentally ill to kill. And I mean, I never did like it. Okay. Matter and. So me just change the, the entire thing. Just, well, I know we are going to Montego Bay at night. And remember, so 
Chief Charles, aka Safia, my shop. You know what I mean? And then me did, me did black. Blacker than this. But I threw my chavel and I'm kind of getting a good place. Yeah, all the pies and winter. Yeah. But apart from that, still, that was the night. I kind of did um, make the name Charlie Black. Okay. And no way going to play a sound system. Play something for a sound system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right, so that's some history. And uh, as you said, you made your name as a selector, yeah. Tony Mentor, that name was trending at that time. Tell me about the transition now of becoming an artist when you, you knew that you want to start voice, you know, that the play, that's any dance, so to speak, anymore. You're going behind the mic and in studio to create an image for yourself. All right, me, I was an artist before I was a selector. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, look a bit before your father was explained to someone that Squinge is the one who made me want to be a singer. Because in the foul out of one yard out so name, a man who a house brush. Mm -hmm. You see me, then they keep up house party and squingy. I say this all the time, so like you say I swing up the sound and you know the night that you mash up the place. So mm -hmm. I wanted this kind of line of work. Because mm -hmm. me already I got a school and a big place. We know the performance part, but mm. we never have the resources or nobody, no link boy, I think, to, to say, boy. Produce a song or see talent. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yes, yeah, so most of the performances them where me really depend in you know, the community is when a politician decides to more from do something in the community to get the people's attention, okay. stuff like that. So that is how people, most of who know me as an artist, know me from before. You know what I mean? So it's really a transition to become mm. a selector as I wasn't a selector. Okay, nice. You understand? Interesting. When I really decided that I was um, going to get back or try to pursue or focus on my career is really 2004. Mm. When I recorded my first song and it felt good going a professional student myself. Mm. Felt good on everything. Um, Big up Juno anyway in the Tutor yeah. Records, Big up Father Max, you know, you know. Okay. And um like I was still playing sound system them time. Then mm -hmm. 2005, no Mugos of Bamsa and I played bass and this sound system. Okay. I was I was playing a sound system called Warla the International. Yeah. I was playing a sound system called Warla the International at the time when I recorded that song. 2005 I played bass and the 2007, I'm recording the first hit song, which is Body Body. Oh, yeah. You understand? And from there, we never look back because never. that is really my uh, my lane that me did really want to venture out from long time, um, from school um, days. So, not not be the time, and that's the time, 2007, we was. 2007, Charlie Black. Yeah. yeah. His name and name start to get familiar with And this is my first was. album. Right, so that's what I was about to say, no. And yeah. after 2021, no. Yeah. And we're in Rio Bueno, communities, and you're here, it's a pleasure. I know in 2021, here, we're here in Rio Bueno. Nothing be time. Mm -hmm. And I think time is now. Mm -hmm. I've made a lot of sacrifice in my career. Um, by spending money on everything. So when, when people approach me, well, it's the first company, because we, what really I'm now in party animal, it, mm -hmm. yeah, universal Latin, they, 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 they approach me. Okay. Understand? And let me say, go on, I got two albums, but we did already have a contract with some people over um, Belgium. Mm -hmm. So I saw no universal and buy out the contract with me. With them, mm -hmm. understand? So, uh, it wasn't that really about money to be honest with you. It's more of really wanted to get the exposure from ever since because I never really had a manager, never really had a management team. Mm -hmm. We never really have no, everything on me, going it by myself, it's by myself. And, and, and some very good selectors are real Charlie Black music because he's not a man where I go go to me for child to, to force me music for nobody. Mm -hmm. You see me, so if a selector really like a song from me, Give thanks. Okay. You see me? So, if I can put out 10 songs and I'm not like one, maybe the next batch will come out with probably like. Mm -hmm. 
Definitely. And I am a good writer, I'm sure, saying, I feel like one of the songs. Okay. Then it's selected. So this album now, Real Boy, and how many tracks are on the album? It should have been 15, but I think some of the um the paperwork and the, something uh, get to come through properly. So okay. On time, so it's going to be like 11. 11 tracks. Out yeah. this Friday, November. Yes. All right. I know you're excited, right? Oh, yes, man. Of course. My first album, I feel so good for knowing something out near my album. In honor of your community. I mean, so amazing. Yeah. Tell us about the process of producing the album, what went into the finish, and the everything that you went through. For um, most of the songs, them. Uh, most of the songs, them, uh, are songs that was recorded long ago mm. and because remember from me signed with Universal we put out this album mm -hmm. so most of the songs them um, even sang with me and Shaggy that song won't be on the album that one didn't make it it bothered me of course it make it but just paper no matter I mean it didn't make it to the yeah, album yeah, yeah, the yeah, final yeah, yeah, production yeah, yeah, yeah. right okay and you really wanted that one yeah. to be on it I mean, me no want, me no, me no want to disappoint my fans. I mean, the minute me I give them one date, I give them one date, and mm. then data move to this and and I'm I'm not the problem. But really then me understand uh -huh. finally in the last year because what I did was I put out a song called Sidon, 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 girl, Sidon, but I'm um, T J. Rhythm, incredible rhythm, see, and. I, I, I take like maybe like everything probably add up to about three thousand US or mm -hmm. maybe two thousand five hundred US mm -hmm. for that video for the girls and for the video uh, video Simeon, everything okay. and that was from my pocket in a pandemic. Okay. You understand? So I proved that to them to show them. So watch on now and now I go put out a video and show no. So on now listen. As we are telling from long time, so if you focus on your perfect the song that's called Your Baby, you perfect, you perfect. Mm. And them now I listen to we, you know what I mean? So they want to feed them on a thing and do bag a collab. And the collabs are good and everything, and getting um, the nice play them. But we, them, them, them just now I'll take a talk from we, them through them of the money and of the Are you? Universal. Uh -huh. them, they, 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 the department where me, you know, them not listen. Yeah, and then them start fire so many A&Rs and, &Rs and wow. then we, it's just a lot. So, so it's just that it's really a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I got through and my fans are not really too new and it's the first time I really see them so still. But honestly, I just don't want the 12 of November pass. And because he must go up on some more um, things that we have to say. Yeah. Some more collaboration. Mm -hmm. I said, I could move forward with the day. I don't have no time for this. And it's only one collaboration on the album. It's my DJ. Okay. And that is already a hit song. But the, I know that the album is a hit. Right. 11 tracks. Yeah. All right, Charlie Black. Yeah. Celebrate your album. Presidential Rose by Fans for sponsoring this video as a special gift for you. Which I want to present to you. All right. Presidential Rose, the best one we had in the school. You never know them, no, no. Shirley Black, thank you very much to you. A lot of little knickknacks, presidential stuff is in there. No the presidential. But the presidential smoker, the sophisticated nice. smoker. Yeah. Because we're looking forward to the real boy on November 12th. All right? And tell presidential from the um, natural so they're going to support my album too. Okay, okay that's why we're. We're well, there. I'm going to make sure it's the support in the brand. We have, a, we have a ganja song on the album, it's called. I agree. Sing the cat. Nothing in my life, no surprise, but my nose just out myself. Living the best life I can, cause it's very expensive. I'm too high right now, I'm not keep on negativity. We just have like one, please, but I'm alive, help me, I'm not going to help. And more prosperity. No matter how times you feel, I'm going to take my can't go in on my brain, smoke weed on my eyes. Oh, girl, you're smoking so high.
All right, Charlie Black, thank you. This interview was a blast, an amazing conversation. Right here in Real Buena. It's all about your album, Real Buena, this November 12th. Guys, make sure you check that out. Available everywhere. Make sure you like, subscribe, share Ramona Samuels TV. You don't know. Thank you to my sponsor, Presidential Rolls, the best from Yard. All right, check them out at presidentialrolls.com.